Hi! Today I'm going to teach you how to compare units of length again today, but today we're going to compare metric units of length. So here in the United States we use customary units of length like inch, foot, mile, yard, and some other countries they use metric units of length. So make sure to write this down. One centimeter equals ten millimeters. One decimeter equals ten centimeters. One meter equals ten decimeters. One meter is equals one hundred centimeters, and one meter equals one thousand millimeters. So we're gonna make a chart right here to compare these lengths. So write this down with me. So one meter is 10 decimeters. So we're gonna do one times 10. One meter is 100 centimeters. So one times 100. And then one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. So we're gonna do one times 1,000. So one meter is equal to one decimeter is equal to 100 centimeters is equal to 1,000 millimeters. All right, so two meters, we're gonna do two times 10, 20 decimeters, two times 100, so 200 centimeters, and then two times 1,000, because one meter has 1,000 millimeters, so two has 2,000. All right, then three, three times 10 is 30, three times 100 is 300, three times 1,000 is 3,000, four times 10 is 40, four times 100 is 400, four times 1,000 is 4,000, five times 10 is 50, 5 times 100 is 500, 5 times 1,000 is 5,000. So now over here, 2 meters equals how many centimeters? So we need to go back and we need to see how many centimeters are in 1 meter. So 1 meter is 100 centimeters, so we're going to do 2 times 100. 2 meters equals 200 centimeters. 3 centimeters equals blank millimeters. So we need to see how many millimeters are in 1 centimeter. 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So we're going to do 3 times 10. 3 centimeters is equal to 30 millimeters. 5 decimeters equals blank centimeters. So we need to see how many centimeters are in one decimeter? One decimeter equals 10 centimeters. So we're gonna do five times 10. Five decimeters equals 50 centimeters. So now over here, we're going to compare. We're gonna put less than, greater than, or equal to four meters and 40 decimeters. So we need to see which unit is smaller. And then we need to write both of these measurements in that unit. So decimeters is smaller, so we're going to write 4 meters in decimeters. So we see how many meters, how many decimeters are in a meter. There's 10 decimeters in 1 meter. So we're going to do 4 times 10 equals 40 decimeters. We're comparing 40 decimeters and 40 decimeters, so they are equal. Look, they're stuck. All right, five centimeters and five millimeters. Well, we already know that millimeters is smaller, so we know that five centimeters is going to be bigger. Well, let's see how many millimeters are in five centimeters. So there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So we're gonna do five times 10 equals 50 millimeters. So we're gonna write a greater than symbol because five centimeters is greater. All right, six decimeters, 65 centimeters. Centimeters is our smaller unit, so we are going to write six decimeters in centimeters. There's 10 centimeters.
centimeters in a decimeter. So you can do 6 times 10, 60 centimeters. Now we're comparing 60 centimeters and 65 centimeters. And we know that 65 is greater. 7 meters, 700 millimeters. We know millimeters are smaller. So we're going to write 7 meters in millimeters. So there's 1,000 millimeters in one meter. So we're going to do 7 times 1,000. And we get 7,000 millimeters. So we know 7,000 is greater than 700. So we're going to make a greater than symbol. All right, next we're going to do a problem from your assignment together. Um, page 231 in your small math book, number 14. So get that out and ready to do that along with me. A flagpole is four meters tall. How many centimeters tall is the flagpole? So I'm going to write flagpole is four meters. How many centimeters? All right, so we need to go back over here and we need to find out how many centimeters are in one meter. So one meter is 100 centimeters. So to find how many centimeters are in four meters, we're going to do four times 100 and we get 400. So the flagpole is 400 centimeters tall. All right, so for your assignment, you're going to do the rest of that page 231, but you're going to skip numbers 10, 11, 12, and 13. If you have any questions, make sure that you email your teacher or if you need any help.